Welcome to another Nintendo Switch video on the channel. If you are new to the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for everything Nintendo Switch. The Switch series playlist, which will be linked in the top right now, has a lot of videos in there. So if you are interested and excited about the Switch, make sure you're checking out that series playlist because I'm sure there are some videos in there that you might have missed. But let's just get on with this video. I want to talk about the specs for the Switch. Just because I'm seeing a lot of people freaking out about, apparently, according to Emily Rogers, the final retail Switch will come with 4GB of RAM, which I do believe is less than the PS4 and Xbox One. I do believe they have 8GB um, of RAM, if I'm not mistaken. And I just want to round up all of the specs rumours. We have two conflicting rumours at this moment in time. I just wanted to round them up all into one video and then offer you my thoughts on those two rumours and what rumour I want to happen more than the other. So let's just get on with the first rumour which is coming in from NW Player 123. And this came in pretty much straight after the Switch reveal around about a month ago now um, so she is saying I do believe it is a woman could be wrong on that but NW player 123 has said that the switch will come with four ARM Cortex A57 cores which, which will run at a max of 2 gigahertz apparently the NVIDIA chip will be a Maxwell chip it will have a Maxwell architecture and not the Pascal architecture. Apparently, it will have 256 and CUDA cores with a max of 1 gigahertz. Um, I'm not really sure what some of this stuff even means, but I'm sure some of you do like watching this video. So if I have read some of that wrong, then I must apologise about that. I'm not really too much into specs as some other people in the community. So yeah, she is saying. That it will have 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is matching what Emily Rogers is saying. And I do believe Emily Rogers said that it will have 32, 32 gigabytes of storage as well. And that is what NW Player 123 is saying here as well. Apparently, it will have USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports as well. And the screen, which, which Eurogamer said. Um, we'll have a 6.2 inch LCD screen which will run at a resolution of 720p. That is what NW Player 123 is saying here as well. So that is sort of matching what, um, you know, that rumour there is matching what Emily Rogers is saying and what Eurogamer is saying as well. So, yeah, apparently um, video output will be 1080p 60fps. I'm not sure whether that means gameplay. Or whether that means streaming, um, she's saying or 4K at 30 FPS max video output. So I'm not sure whether that means gameplay. Um, I'm just going to read out the full line um, just because I kind of went off my own back with that line there. So this is what she is saying 1080p at 60 FPS or 4K at 30 FPS max video output. I don't think that is referring to the gameplay on the TV screen. I think that is just like streaming in terms of Netflix and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, that is the first rumour coming in from NW Player 123. Now, we know that the Switch is going to be more powerful than the Wii U just because it will be running Unreal Engine 4, which isn't a new rumour at all. This is an old rumour dating back. In, like dating back like to 2015 so yeah it's nice that it has been confirmed that the switch will be running unreal engine 4 so i guess that means that for third parties it might be easier to port their games over to the switch especially how nintendo aren't using a custom um architecture which you know like what they've done with the wii u something which these third party developers aren't familiar with maybe with nvidia maybe they might be more familiar with that but i don't want to go too much into that just because i think i will probably go into that in the future video 
So this is another rumour coming in from a respected Japanese journalist. Apparently this journalist has got a lot of specs about other products right in the past. So this is what he had to say about the Switch. So the Switch will likely use the NVIDIA Pascal architecture for its GPU, which is the next generation of their GPU. The Maxwell is the last gen. The Pascal is the next gen. I do believe there is another one. It begins with V. I think it's Vegra or Vector. I might, might have gotten the name of that wrong. But there is another new GPU that apparently um, NVIDIA are working on. But apparently that hasn't been released yet. So I don't think that will be included within the Switch. Just because it's not even been released yet. I don't think we know any sort of pricing details for that GPU yet. So... I think if the Switch is going to have any like GPU, then it will be Pascal or Maxwell. I'm hoping it will be Pascal just because that is their next generation um, you know, hardware, pretty much. We don't want last generation hardware for a product which will be coming out in 2017. So apparently the Tegra chip inside the platform could help the Switch evolve just like the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. There are no indications that Nintendo will opt for the Maxwell architecture within the Switch. The custom NVIDIA chip will feature a floating point performance around 1 teraflops. There is almost no possibility that the Switch will perform above 1.5 teraflops due to the battery life inside the Switch. So that is coming in from a respected Japanese journalist. I think one thing to note is the sort of terminology that he was using there. He was saying it was likely to use the um, Pascal architecture. He wasn't saying it was definite. Um, so I guess, it. I don't know, maybe he might be doubting his own um, theory. But yeah, he's saying that it's likely to run um, Pascal and there are no indications that Nintendo will opt for Maxwell. So let's just get into my thoughts on the specs for the Switch. I'm kind of caught in two minds. I'm going to talk more about the positive side of things. Just because I know a lot of people are freaking out about the specs at this moment in time. And especially in terms of the RAM of the system. Or the supposed RAM of the system. The 4 gigabytes of RAM. So this is more than the Wii U. The Wii U had 2 gigabytes, but only 1 gigabyte was for the games. The other 1 gigabyte was for the operating system. Maybe the same sort of thing could happen with the Switch, where half will be dedicated to the operating system, and the other half will be dedicated to the games. If that is the case, then, I don't know, maybe that is a cause for concern, because... Obviously, these third-party developers, they have more RAM to play with on the other systems. Will the fact that they will have less RAM to play around with, maybe that might hinder what they could do on the Switch. And maybe that might be a factor in terms of long-term third-party support as well. But maybe the Switch will just have one gigabyte of RAM dedicated to the operating system and the rest dedicated to the games. So... That is better, but again, that is, you know, a cause for concern for third parties. But in terms of what Nintendo can do with that, they, you know, they've done some really good stuff with just doing one gigabyte, like just having one gigabyte of RAM. They had Mario Kart 8, they had Xenoblade Chronicles X, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and, you know, Splatoon as well, Smash Brothers, so, and Bayonetta. You know, some games looked really, really good on the Wii U. So I have no doubt that Nintendo games will run or will look better, will run better on the Switch. I'm really excited to see what Nintendo can do with more RAM than what they had with the Wii U. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited in terms of what Nintendo could do with the system. But in terms of third-party support... And I will go into this, I've already gone into this like in my NX series playlist, but I've always said from the start that I'm not really expecting the Switch to be a first part and third party machine. And I guess, I think the Switch will have third party support to start off with, but I'm just expecting it to drop off 
um, within the first couple of years, like what it did with the Wii U. But I probably will go into that in a future video as well. So, yeah, I think obviously I want this Switch to have the newer hardware, the Pascal hardware, um, and we've already we've already got word that the Switch will not be selling at a loss. So maybe. The Switch will be using the Maxwell architecture to cut down on the cost. But I know for me personally, I'd rather see Nintendo using newer hardware, some which is more comparable to hardware that is currently out there. So that's just my opinion. Um, I'm hoping that Nintendo will use the Pascal architecture. But on the whole, I guess I am bothered about this sort of thing. Um, in terms of the power of the system, but I'm kind of like for Nintendo games I know that they will do a good job with the hardware just because they did a really good job with the Wii U hardware in terms of getting the most out of that system So I'm ex I'm excited to see what Nintendo can do with more powerful hardware, but Yeah in terms of third-party support. I'm just a little bit worried in terms of what they might think of the hardware where it might go in terms of the Switch's future and like what third party games will be coming to the Switch in the future but I'm going to talk more about that in a separate video I guess to summarise my thoughts into one closing statement is that yeah I'm excited to see what Nintendo could do with the Switch I'm hoping that it will be as powerful as the systems out there or as close to the power that or as close to the systems that are currently out there but I guess at the end of the day when I get the games in my system I wouldn't really be bothered about the graphics just because I'll be too engrossed into the gameplay so yeah that's just my thoughts let me know your thoughts in the comment section below I didn't realize this video will go on for this long but that is just a look at the specs rumors that are currently knocking about in the community we don't have long to find out the final specs of the switch just because the presentation will be coming out on the 12th or the 13th for me so we probably will get some specs details not in that presentation probably we probably will get a sheet of specs like through a, through a press release after the presentation so that is it for this video don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below but until next time i'm out of here for now Goodbye.